Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to put multiple subnets on one Ethernet adapter. I use this um, going from the primary port of a JACE to the secondary port of a JACE to a, another JACE or another device. So right here, as you see, I have a primary port on a Edge 10 controller, which is basically a JACE. A secondary port on the Edge 10 controller. And then I have my SNC controller up here with all three having different IP addresses and different subnets. So how do I do this without having to go and change my adapter settings all the time? Let me show you. So I'm using a Windows 11 here. It might be different if you have Windows 10. But on Windows 11, if you open up your control panel and go to Network and Internet, go to the Network and Sharing Center, then on the left hand side, change adapter settings. I'm using my TP-Link USB Ethernet adapter here for this, so I'm going to double click here. I'm going to go to properties, and my Internet Protocol 4, I'm going to double click on there. I'm going to set my first address up. So my first address is going to be 192.168.110.100. Okay, 255, 255, 255 network. I'm an advanced. I see that it has this address in there with the subnet. So I'm going to add a different one. And the different one is going to be a 10.10.10.100. Okay. And I'm going to make this class C address, which is 255, 255, 255. Add. I'm going to add one more, and it's going to be 169.254.243.60. I'm going to 100. I'm going to go ahead and make this class C address 2, adding that extra 255, and hit add. So now I have all three of these addresses slash subnets on one single Ethernet adapter. I can check that by going to my command prompt and typing in ipconfig slash all. And then right here under my TP link, you see all those addresses show up that we just put in there. Now for a real world test, I'm going to go to my workbench here, and you see it's 192.168.110.90. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that and log in. Oops. You see that I logged in here to that station plugged into my primary port. I can go down to config, services, drivers, so I can see my backnet network here. Oh, I don't have anything plugged into it, but as you see, I'm, I'm talking to this. So now let me switch over to the secondary port right here. I'm using the same wire. And now I'm in my secondary port that obviously has a different IP address. So as you see, I lost this one. My secondary port is 10, 10, 10, 10. So if I come over here and open station and go to 10.10.10.10, I can open it. log in and I'm in the same exact station without changing IP settings down here and one more thing I have is this SNC controller so let me switch the wire over to that guy Now with the SNC controller, we don't use Workbench, we use Launcher. 
So I already have this controller right here, so I'm gonna launch it. Give it a second. Johnson likes to be a little bit slow opening it up. I'm not gonna speed up this video video just so you can see it in real time that I'm not changing any kind of adapter settings. There we go. I'm using my auto login. And as you see, I'm logged in. This is my SNC. Fly values, obviously, it's popping up my alarms. That's how you change your adapter settings to have multiple IP addresses on it. That way you can just keep plugging in and not having to change it every time. Thanks for watching.